My name is Suha from University Tunku Abdul Rahman, Selangor, Malaysia. Today's topic is Cultural Effects of Safety Measure Practices on Safety Performance and Project Performance. The outline of my presentation is Introduction, Aim and Objectives, Literature Review, Data Sets, and Methodology data analysis and results, discussion and conclusion. Introduction. This study is focused on the safety aspect of practicing occupational health and safety management system in Malaysia conduction industry. Fatality statistics from 2015 to 2020 Malaysia are listed below. The top two sectors were construction and manufacturing. From 2014 to 2020, the main causes of fatality were lack of safety or no safety operation procedures, which is about 33%, unsafe working conditions, is 23%, unsafe work is 12%, and no conclusive comments is 23%. The aim is to study, to identify the success factor of safety measure practices which instigate high fatality rates in construction sites, and highlighting of these factors to the project team members, including top management, in order to identify the best solution to minimize incidences. The objectives are to identify the success factors of safety measure practice in OSHA management system certified construction companies, and to formulate a model to investigate the causal effect of safety measure practices in OSHA management system certified construction companies in Malaysia. Literature review shows implementation of safety measure practice of OSHA management system will benefit the following. Better safety performance reduces rate of injuries, reduces fatal incidents, safer working conditions, improve productivities, improve company image, positive effect on financial performance. Problem statements. The Director General, General of DOS Malaysia has mentioned the contractors lack a bicycle attitude towards safety measure is the main cause. Contractor also fails to comply with prescribed safety procedures. The chairman of NAYOS Malaysia also mentioned most contractors fail to follow the required site safety rules. High fatality rates recorded by DOS Malaysia, Hernes and Glam Ramani has pointed out that certification of OSHA 18001 and practicing good OSHA practices is not completely related to better safety performance. With these detrimental findings, the study further investigates the effectiveness of practicing good OSHA practices. Also, there is not much research done on effectiveness practices of OSHA management system in Malaysia construction industry context. With this backdrops, the research objectives in this study are formulated. The conceptual framework is based on two underpinning theories. There is Heinrich Domino theory and behavioral-based safety, the model of antecedents, behavior, and consequences. Six hypotheses have been formulated. H1 is safety rules and procedures will have a positive and significant effect on adoption of OSHA management system. 
H2, supportive environment will have a positive and significant effect on adoption of OSHA mentioned system. H3, unsafe acts will have a positive and significant effect on adoption of OSHA mentioned system. H4, adoption of OSHA mentioned system will have a positive and significant effect on safety performance. H5, safety performance will have a positive and significant effect on company competitiveness. H6, safety performance will have positive and significant effect on financial performance. The outline research process in this study is as follows. Literature review, conceptual framework, collection of relevant questionnaires, finalization of initial questionnaire with experts, pilot testing of initial survey questionnaire, especially final questionnaire with Compact Alpha, CFA, initial model of safety measure practices, adjusted model with factor loading, CFA, measurement and structure model, then analyze the findings. The scope of respondents, 600 respondents from 33 sites, 442 return, 36 incompletes, 5 outliers, and make a total of 401 valid respondents. The st statistical software used is for structural equation modeling is IBM SPSS AMOS version 21. IBM SPSS AMOS is a covariant based structural equation modeling. The criteria to use CBSEM statistic methodology are the research goal is theory testing, theory confirmation, or comparison of alternative theories. The structural model has a circular relationship and the research study requires a global fitness, goodness of fit criterion. The scope of respondents are from safety management team, which include the project managers, the safety managers, the safety officers, the project engineer, the site engineers, the site safety supervisors, the site supervisor and those in similar position involved in the running of the project at site. Geographical location of project at site are within the Klang Valley in Selangor, Malaysia. And is restricted to those registered with CIDB G7 category with ISO 45001 or OSHA 18001 or MS1722 Part 1 certification. Sample size of 41 were considered adequate, taking into consideration of the following. Cohen's formula with infinite population is 385, finite population is 384, Yaman's formula for a finite population is 399, power analysis F test is 119. These are the location of the survey data, 33 project sites in Krang Valley. Demographic profile of the 401 responses, 53.9% are with bachelor, 8.7% with master, 32.2% with certificate or diploma. Prior to career statistics analysis, the data need to be validated, namely normality, outlier, multi community common method bias. As for the long normality, skewers is between minus two to plus two. This study comply. Courtesy minus seven to plus seven. This study comply. Outliers comply. Multi collinearity TOL. Less than zero, greater than 0 0.2, comply. BIF, less than 5.0, comply. Coloration, less than 0 0.8, comply. 
common factor bias, Harmon single factor, less than 40%, this study comply. Common latent factor, less than 0.2, this study comply. Convergent validity were carried out. The result that factor looting greater than 0 0.6, AVE greater than 0 0.5, composite reliability greater than 0 0.7. Discrimination validity tests were carried out. The square root of the AVE is greater than the variance shared between the constructs. It shows that these variables have been considered acceptable fit and will be used for SCM analysis. The goodness of fit result for the structural model were carried out. The root mean square error of explanation is Ramsey is 0.055, which is less than 0.08. CFI, 0.916, greater than 0.90. TLI, 0.909, greater than 0.96, 0.90. Norm chi-square, 2.219, is less than 5.0. This indicates that the structure model was reasonably fit. Result of the path analysis were carried out. With the exception of H2, supportive alignment, with a p-value greater than 0 0.05, which is insignificant. Research findings. The success factor of safety measure practices are safety rules and procedures, and workers' positive behavior has direct impact on the adoption of occupational safety and health management system environment, which will be then inferred and improve the safety perf performance of the project. The result shows that all hypotheses developed in this study have been supported with the exception of uh, hypothesis H2, supportive environment. The theoretical perspective of practicing OSHA mentioned system I will result. Safety rules and procedures and safety behaviors play a critical role in motivating the way how safety performance is to be maintained and improved. Two, adoption of OSHA mentioned system plays a significant role in creating a safe workplace to attain excellent safety performance. Three, safety performance will effectively improve project performance, practice and effective OSHA management system will result in improvement in financial performance, such as sales and profit, also improve a high labor productivity and company image. The practical perspective. Implementation of OSHA management system in construction industry is a critical aspect of the success of construction project in Klein Valley and effective OSHA management system assists the project to maintain an accident-free workplace and be able to negate inferior company image by the public and authorities. In view of the importance of safety performance, project managers are recommended to recognize the need for upkeep and upgrade product quality through productivity via innovation of work processes. The project manager need to implement to manage safety as they manage other functions of the organization such as production, maintenance, marketing, and finance. Top management to set aside business allocation for safety man management and integrate with other functions, budget, and strategies. Conclusion: Implementation of SMP will promote better safety and project performance, and thus an accident-free work place environment, minimizing the risk of production delay, reducing downtown downtime through incident and ill health, demonstrating commitment to meet legal obligations, 
so as to prevent costly fines for non-compliance, a competitive advantage by improving company image and reputation, improve in financial performance both in the project and company. Thank you.